Hi, I'm Emma from Blue Ocean Society for Marine Conservation, and I'm here today to show you how to run our microplastics lab from home. You'll need a baking tray, a colander, or a strainer, depending on what you have at home, and a large container that you don't mind getting sand in. Microplastics are small fragments of plastic between one and five millimeters in size, and they come from a variety of different sources. These sources include large pieces of plastic that have broken down over time, as well as exfoliants found in health and beauty products such as soaps and face washes. They can also come from synthetic fabrics such as fleece and polyester. These microplastics end up in our waterways because they don't get caught up in wastewater treatment facilities during the treatment process. Blue Ocean Society partnered with New Hampshire Sea Grant as well as UNH's Cooperative Extension back in 2013, and we've been sampling beaches in New Hampshire since then. We go between the months of April and October to different beaches, and we collect sand, and we sieve it through different size sieves. This is our five millimeter sieve, and what's left in the top of this one after we pour our sample through, we consider a large sample. This is our one millimeter sieve, and what's left in the top, we consider our small sample. We're gonna go out to a beach now and show you how to collect your sample so that you can conduct this lab from home. All right, so you're gonna need a tape measure, and you're gonna measure out one meter, which is 3.28 feet. You're gonna lay it down in the sand and mark it off as such. Now repeat that step four times until you have a square. Now using either a small shovel, your hands, or a cup, you're gonna skim about a centimeter off the top of the entire square and place it right into your bucket. Once you've done that, you can take your sand sample home for sifting. Now that we have our sample, we're gonna pour it through our sieve over our large container as such, making sure that we don't pour the entire bag in and doing it in small samples. We'll sift it out until there's no more sand coming through the sieve and then lay it out on your baking tray. Sort through your sample by separating out the different or inorganic materials found in your sample. Plastics in one section, foams in another, and organic materials in their own section. Tally it up with the data card. Using the ID card found at the end of the lesson plan online, you can identify the different fragments and separate them out into categories. And then there's a data sheet as well, and you're able to tally up what you're finding. Thank you.